Hi everyone, Brian from DIG Tech here. Today we're hosting the meeting of the IP500 Alliance. Here with me is Martin Graf, he's from Microsense. Could you tell something about the company? Yeah, hello, thanks first for the introdu uh, introduction. And yeah, I'm from Microsense as mentioned before and we are a company who's building and developing network switches for fiber optic solutions and um, copper solutions based in Germany. Yeah, and since four years now, we uh, get into the market for smart building solutions, providing um, PUE powered or PUE controlled light, and um, yeah, hmm. mainly that. Cool. And so, what is your connection to IP500? So, for almost two years now, we are part of the IP500 Alliance, mm -hmm. uh, mainly because of a project we started with our mother company, the Euromicron in Germany, in mm -hmm. Freiburg which is a test pad and a pilot project for, uh, for the IP500 community. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and so you've been a member now for two years, so what's the value of being a member of IP500? First, and mainly you get direct connection to the development guys from IP500. <laughs> so it's much more easy to integrate our stuff to, to the IP500 world. <laughs> and then, of course, during our meetings, you meet uh, other companies with very interesting products. Like we've seen today, um, a radar-based people detection solution. Mm. So you can see people moving around in, in the building. So that's something you don't see that often. And it's very new product or still between development and product. So normally you have to wait for some fair to see those, mm. those uh, development stuff. Yeah, really cool. So. And um, um, what did you present today at the IP500 conference? Today, um, I'm here to present our lighting solution to the members who haven't seen this before. Mm -hmm. But also, we um, developed a special gateway to combine the IP world with the um, IP500 world. So mm -hmm. it is connected to one of our switches, and you are able to connect uh, the IP500 devices to the IP network. For example, in some cases, you need a computer to show um, a building map and show who um, or which kind of sensors are used. So you need a bridge. And this is what we have developed. And today I'm here to present the latest version as we move from a big housing to a small USB device. Okay, hmm. very interesting. So with all these new technologies, what do you see for the new future? For the new future? Oh, uh, a big step ahead if it comes to, to um, building automation as a closed, or not closed, as an open system, but a standardized system. So at the moment you have thousands different uh, different versions of uh, protocols and um, commu communication systems for uh, for building automation. But in the future, I think it's reduced to one hmm. or a few at least. And um, yeah, I think IP five hundred is one of the most interesting because of the certification for intrusion and fire detection. Hmm. Because hmm. at the moment you get other systems on the market, but they are not uh, legal if it comes to public buildings, open mm. buildings. So it's okay for home application, but not in public buildings. Mm -hmm. And that's what is uh, what drives the IP500 and I think brings us a lead. Mm. Very interesting. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you. And best of luck. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome.